Hey everybody, it's Alex. We are inside the iconic University of Minnesota Hockey Locker Room, and we are here to talk to NAHL alumni. Here's what they had to say about playing in the NAHL and the NCAA. Um, when I went into the North American Hockey League, I was 16 years old. Um, I bypassed my two years in high school, so I went as a junior. And I just knew that it was something that I wanted to pursue. Um, I think joining that league and playing in that league helps your chances play um, in the NCAA a lot. And so that was my main goal going into it, is I wanted to play Division One hockey. And so going into it, I had no idea what it was going to be like. Um, six, seven, maybe eight months. You know, you're playing, playing 60 games. You can play in playoffs. It's a lot more. Um, I know it's it's pretty hard on your body to play 60 games, and and for me to do it five years, I battled a lot of adversity. Um, I was a backup goalie at times. I was a starter at times. Um, I was hurt. I played. I was in the USHL for a month and got cut. So I, I dealt with a, a lot of things that, you know, sometimes it was, it was tough mentally, but I knew I, that league um, has a lot of opportunities and a lot of teams and a lot of players go on to play Division One, Division Three hockey. And, and I know it, and I knew that if you just stick through the process and work hard and control what you can control, that the outcome um, is what you'll, you'll want. I think it's a good league for goalies just because the competition is, is improving. There's a, there's a lot of skill in the league, and, and if you're a goalie and you can start 40 games a year, it's, it's beneficial. If you go to college, you're playing 36 games, and if you have that history of, of playing a full full season in, in the North American Hockey League, I think that'll help you a lot. I think you, you're able to learn a lot about yourself when you're playing in the North American Hockey League, whether you're in a smaller city or, or you're living you know, in a in a small town and and they thrive around the junior team and I think that like I said you learn a lot about yourself and it, I think it, it helps you become not only a better player but a better person too. My advice to all the players in the league are, is just to keep battling. I mean it's it, like I said it's it's tough to to stay on top of it all the time. I mean it's, it gets to be a long season but um, if, if you work hard and control what you can that um, good things will happen. So if you have a bad game if if you have a bad week, if you're hurt, if you're cut, if you, if you work hard, everything will work out in the end. So you just gotta stick with the process and trust that the league produces a lot of players in the NCAA. And if you can keep that mindset and control what you can, you'll be in a good spot at the end.